Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, continuing Monkish Week. Triple IPA time. Because why not? Uh, this is LA Beauty. I'm a fan of that label art. I know I, I said a couple reviews ago that I missed the Monkish um, label art that just had the text on it. But this is cool. <laughs> it looks awesome. And this is a pretty label... Triple IPA, 10.5% alcohol by volume, drink freshy, uh, canned on May 27th. Today is June 4th, so week in the can. Um, this beer, I say it every time, ice cold out of the fridge. I drink all my triple IPAs cold. Uh, if you don't do that, that's fine. I'm not going to tell you to drink your beers, but that's what I do with triple IPAs. Uh, double IPAs and single IPAs, especially when they're hazy, I let them sit out for about 15, 20 minutes. Uh, let the chill come off of it, but triple IPAs, I do not do that. I drink them cold. I don't like when they get sweet. I don't like when they get boozy. Um, I say this every single time, so I'm saying it again. I know, it's stupid. I laugh in my head every time I say it, but it's ice cold. So if you're tasting notes, <laughs> if for some reason you're watching this and you're like, eh, that's not what I tasted, which maybe that happens in the YouTube world, I don't know. Um, and they're different, maybe that's why, because I drank mine cold and you didn't, so... Well, let's get into it. Uh, it looks like a monkish beer. It's orange juice. Uh, half a finger of bright white head. It's dissipating quickly. You would expect that for an almost 11% triple IPA. I don't know the hops in this. I should have looked this up beforehand, but we never do that because we don't do that in this channel. We just drink beer and we talk about it. So, so I, I mean, I. <laughs> Every time I review a triple IPA, I'm like, eh, not a big triple IPA guy. And then I love the triple IPA. I'm like, oh, I fucking love triple IPAs. So um, I, I I, really think that Monkish makes the best triple IPAs. I will say Fiden's triple IPAs have been amazing that I've had. But Monkish just consistently, it's, I mean, if you look at my past reviews, all their triple IPAs, every single time I'm drinking triple IPA, I'm like, oh, this is the best one. 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 Started with JFK to LAX, and we've gone through the gauntlet of all the triple IPA so let's shove our fat nose in this one see what it smells like it smells like hoppy alcohol <laughs> this beer smells so good it's citrus it's tropical fruity it's like it's juicy um, sweet tangerines it's nectarine peachy um, there's a pineapple thing It's got this juice box thing going on. Like, I, fuck, I wish I knew the hops in this. I just, I don't. It's got like this fruit punchy kind of like what you drank when you were in elementary school and your mom would pack your lunch and you had like a fruit punch, like squeezy juice box thing. That's what that smells like. It does have that like white bready kind of just like crackery thing, but you'd expect, dude, it's almost 11%. Like there's gotta be some sort of like malt aspect to this, right? Man, this smells ridiculously good. Let's go and taste it. Cheers. I was expecting that to be way more boozy than it is. <laughs> That's fucking really good. It's got, like, there's obviously a twinge of booze to this. You have to be able to taste the almost 11%, even after five or six beer reviews, whatever we've done tonight. But there's so much like hop flavor from this. And this is, again, just like the last beer that we had, the camping beer, the Strata beer. Like this isn't, I don't think, I, like this doesn't remind me of like cla classic monkish. Like this isn't crazy bitter. It's not crazy West Coast. Like this is hop juice with a little bit of alcohol mixed in it. That's what this beer is to me. Um, it's oranges, it's tangerine, it's pineapple, it's mango. There's like, yeah, there's like a little bit of peppery, like mango thing. Um, like guava, it, it comes off as juice, even though it's almost 11%. But there is like a alcohol bite to it. It's not that it's like crazy warming in my chest, but like you can just, you can feel it when you swallow it. It's hard to hide 10 that percent. Like, if you're hiding 10 that percent and nobody can taste it, 
like you're going to be the greatest brewery of all time, right? Because you could just brew triple IPAs and just bring people in and get them hammered and charge more for your beer, right? Like, don't people charge more for triple IPAs? Is that a thing? <laughs> We're rambling. But yeah, this is one of those beers, like, it's just, it's so fruit juicy. And you're getting some of the alcohol, but it still hides it really well. Like, if someone gave this to you blind, I don't know if you'd be able to say this is almost 11%. It's just not that high-octane ethanol, like, alcohol taste that you get out of a lot of them. Um, and there's plenty of triple IPAs that I've had that are like, phew, this is boozy. This has that, like, bite to it, but it's not crazy. Um, it's just, like, Monkish just continues to kill the triple IPA game. They just do. Their triple IPAs are so fucking good. Um, and when you just take this beer and you have all the fruity aspects to it, you have the hop aspects to it, but you also like, you have to have a little bit of that alcohol in it. Like it's again, almost 11%. Like it has to be all of that when it's triple IPA and they do it super, super well. So, I mean, as far as triple IPAs go in the hazy fashion, this is world class. It really is. This beer is absolute fire. I love it. Drink it cold though. I don't know what this would be like once it warms up. It's just so like, the mouthfeel too is just like, it's full, it's creamy, it's fantastic. So, uh, what is this called? LA Beauty. That's LA Beauty <laughs> from Monkish. Have you guys had it? Leave a comment below, let me know what you think. As always, thank you so much for watching. See you guys very soon, cheers. Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade, all that shit. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all.